Okay, we are starting the broadcast here. Should start seeing some people. And uh, be ready to get going here. We'll give it just a minute or so. It's good to have everybody in with us tonight. I've been looking forward to training since last week. Always looking forward to training. And people are starting to come in now. It takes just a minute with with a Google Hangout system. I'm not sure how the live system is going to be, but with the Google Hangout system, it takes just a a couple of minutes to uh, to come in. Uh, I can see on both sides of the fence. I can see on the uh, YouTube side and the and the and the platform that uh, most of you view for view from uh, on the broadcast side. And so uh, it's usually about even, Stephen. Uh, sometimes the broadcast side has, I don't know, seven to ten, maybe fifteen more people uh, than the uh, the YouTube side. But a lot of people are getting off work or at work or so forth, so they are able to watch it on YouTube. I've been testing the uh, YouTube live. I, I know uh, I've told you guys that YouTube is going away. I'm sorry, not YouTube going away, but Google Hangouts is going away. And it's going to be strictly their YouTube live stream system. And uh, worked on it most of the day today. Uh, got a, uh, a wire connection for the computer versus Wi-Fi. Uh, there's still anywhere from an 8 to 12 second delay. You can't get away from that. Uh, even, on, even on Facebook Live, there's a... Uh, there's about an eight second delay depending on where you're broadcasting from. So uh, on any live stream outlet, and believe it or not, I was on two different platforms today. I was getting a seven second delay on one and a 12 second delay on the other, all in the same room, all from the same patch and, and everything. And uh, even ran it off of my, uh, uh, off of my uh, data on my phone with data. It was about a nine to 10 second delay. So, but you'll still be able to watch it from your phones uh, when we when we switch over to YouTube Live. So you don't have to worry about that. That's the one thing I really like about this webinar system that we use. It's mobile ready. And uh, we have a lot of you guys that watch from mobile. And uh, so it's, it's very important. Uh, so, hey, BK, good to see you, my friend. BK is out of the hospital and, and uh, doing well. And we're so happy for that. Andy, how you doing, buddy? Mark and Jack, Kenny, uh, Ed's in the house, he said. So when Ed's in the house, that means it's time to get going and, and get started. So we're going to go ahead and rock and roll. Uh, going to try to not, not do another hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes and two hours. Not going to try to keep it in an hour, may even come in a little bit less. I'm going to answer some of the questions that have been coming our way. So, uh, uh, the, most of the questions this week has been on sales and, uh, we've had some people ask, Hey, is there any way to put a demo mode for, uh, the kiosk in the system? And I'm going to talk about that and, uh, why I personally don't think that's a good idea. And, but I'm going to show you how you can set up several, uh, screenshots that if you want to go out and show someone, uh, what your other customers look like, that's fine. Uh, not sure why you would do that, but but we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you some workarounds that you can uh, do some screenshots and make up four or five uh, different screenshots. So you can say, okay, yeah, this is what John's doing down the street. And this is what Jim's doing. Uh, before you get rolling, eventually you're going to have 10 or 12 of them. You're going to be able to do screenshots and just sc scroll them across your screen anyway. So, but we're going to talk about that, and uh, what new site are you talking about, buddy? The AppWizardStudio.com site? If that's the site you're talking about, the new site is live, AppWizardStudio.com. Here, and uh, we're going to be at slides for just a few moments. Uh, first, of uh, the disclaimer, always got to throw that in there. AppWizardStudio.com. Uh, 
nor I cannot guarantee just because you are watching training, you will make any sales, create any traffic or increase your income. Every person is different and has different work ethics and different desires. Hey, Mike Ross, how you doing, my friend? And how many of you saw the, uh, uh, the, the training site? Is, it could be. I haven't been in there today, uh, but um, I will let you know after training's over. I've been, I've been working on some other things today, and I know that the videos are being uploaded in that site as we speak. How many of you saw the post I did in Facebook today? The guy laying on the couch. I think he was drinking a soda and uh, uh, watching television and just wondering why. Hey, Rick, how you doing, buddy? Wondering why in the world uh, he wasn't getting anything done. And uh, I have people, <laughs> they, they send me jokes and cracks all the time about, you know, everybody's different. Their work ethics are different and they're just, they have different desires and and that that picture today kind of summed up what that means you know people ask themselves you know well, well i just can't get nothing done and and they'll call and they'll, well what'd you do today and well i was working on this all day well no wonder you didn't get anything done you're not working on anything that has anything to do with what you're doing and uh you know you're everybody's always looking for the next new mouse trap or the be better mouse trap or or whatever the heck they're waiting on, but they're not out selling. And that's that's what prompted me to uh, put that up. I, I got a message today and I was talking to somebody and uh, we were joking about that very thing. And, and, it, and that prompted me to put that up. Tonight, we're gonna talk a little bit of uh, uh, sales strategy. And while I'm talking about this, this is gonna be important. If you'd like to role play a little bit, I think we did this uh, a while back. If you have a scenario that maybe you've run into, uh, or that you've uh, uh, come up against. Sales is sales. It doesn't really matter if, if you're selling toothbrushes or, or loyalty rewards kiosk systems or mobile business cards or full-blown apps, automobiles, it, it's all the same. Everybody has objections and you wanna try to answer those objections before they ever become an objection and just uh, turn it into a question in the prospect's mind that you can answer and answer intelligently. So, uh, but go ahead and start rolling your, your scenarios up as I'm going through training, and this is gonna spark some of you to, to ask a few questions, but, uh, and we're gonna talk about that because sales is the most important thing you do. It's the most important thing you will ever do when it comes to your business, and you won't make any money if you don't do it. And here's the one thing that, that um, I'll never forget, and I hope you never forget. As long as you keep it simple, everything will be okay. You know, we all think that, oh boy, uh, matter of fact, I had someone tell me this the other day, I said, man, you're so quick at comebacks and and, and the things you say and, and how you do it. He, and, and he was talking about how he's analytical and, and believe it or not, I'm very analytical, but I don't let it come come out of me. I don't let it block my my sense of sales uh, because if I analyzed everything to death, uh, it wouldn't be simple anymore. And the only way I know how to do things is to keep it simple. And and uh, so this kiosk is probably the simplest thing we've sold. Uh, I talked to you uh, last week or week before about the boutique shop up uptown, and I went up and met with the boutique shop, and I thought it was just a simple boutique shop. And uh, went in and talked to the lady and had a great conversation. And she was uh, uh, very excited. And uh, I, I thought she was the owner. And, and this, this is just how, how things can all get twisted real quick. And I, I felt like she was the owner because she was speaking like she was the owner, that she was the decision maker. And when I came to my clothes and, and I said, okay, I said, uh, I said, let's get you set up. And I said, we'll, we'll have you going. And I said, I'll come up and spend a couple of days with you. I'll train you how to use the system. We'll start building your list. And uh, she said, well, she said, I'm not the one that signs the checks. She said, I've got a partner who signs the checks. And she said, we're kind of unique. She said, right now, this lady has 15 boutiques and she partners with all of the uh, managers in the stores, which is a very unique concept. And I greatly appreciate that. But she wasn't the final decision maker. So that really kind of threw everything into a, a tailspin. 
She said, but I'll tell you what, she said, let me call her real quick. She said, because this is very interesting to me. She said, as you know, we're downtown and this downtown where I live is dead. I mean, it's extremely dead. Just about everything that's down there has shut up with the exception of uh, the Chinese place, which I frequent often, and uh, the Mexican restaurant, which I frequent often because I get free food there for, I swapped out some marketing with them. And uh, so uh, I eat at the Mexican restaurant. I eat at the Chinese restaurant. Uh, there's a couple of other little businesses uh, down there. And so uh, she got her on the phone and I explained to her what I was doing. And she said, man, she said, I'd like that for all of our stores. And I said, well, I said, when would you like to meet? And so her and I met. And after we met, she's got an actual board. She's a very wealthy uh, lady from North Dallas. And uh, she owns a whole bunch of stuff. And she's going to meet with her board. Uh, I actually gave her uh, some information. And she's going to meet with them. And uh, even though she's still probably going to be the one that says yes, because she writes the checks, the board has to approve it. So this little boutique shop that I thought was a mom and pop sitting in the middle of Commerce, Texas, uh, actually has a board of directors that has to approve this plan. And if it and if it does, I'll get the 15 boutique shops uh, along with all the other shops that she's going around all these small towns and opening up. So you never really know what you have until you're faced with the situation there. But when it all comes down to it, what I did was I show and tell, show and sell, and I feel very confident I'm going to sign the deal. Did it happen right then? No. Did I get a positive response? Yes. Did I, it go the way I wanted it to? No, because I like to walk out with checks. Do I, I think that I'm going to uh, 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 make a, uh, a, a, a great amount of money off of this one deal? Yes. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very important that, and believe it or not, I'm start, when I start talking sales, I get excited. So I just, I'm standing up. If I knock my microphone over, I knock my microphone over. So it's very important, even when things take a curve, that you don't get away from keeping it simple. I don't, I don't know how many of you um, read Hershevec's article that Mike uh, Cahill posted the other day. And I posted a, a piece out of his um, article, and it was talking about keep sales simple. Literally, you need to make your pitch in 30 seconds or less. And because if you go in there, most people are guilty of, and I've done it, to talk. Most people are guilty of talking themselves out of the sale. And with the mobile business card, all of you know is the first thing I. I ask you business. I've done that from day one. I have built over a thousand business cards and I teach people to go in and do the same thing. And those that follow that very quick 30 second or less introduction, keep it simple and get right into the mobile business card have been very successful. And I do the exact same thing with the kiosk. Very, very simple. I, I bet you do, Jack. Matter of fact, I think they've got one in Greenville. I put this up today and I put it up for two reasons. And I'm going to show you the second reason in the morning, in, in a minute. To demonstrate the kiosk is to win. The most important thing you can do is demonstrate the kiosk. Demonstration, the action or process of showing the existence or truth of something by giving proof or evidence. You cannot, will not sell this program without showing them exactly how it works. Remember last week we talked about uh, people are being trained. Uh, they're, they're, they're trained so well that the minute their phone goes off that they, they grab for it. I was sitting in a, a restaurant today and I heard everybody in my town must have bought an iPhone 7. And I heard the iPhone 7 ding for the text message. And literally, not only did I pick it up, as I watched around the room when it went off, about a half a dozen people picked up their phone. And the person that went off was literally sitting right in the middle 
of the restaurant at a table. And so it sounded like everybody's phone went off. We are geared as human beings and trained to a point in today's society that everything revolves around our phones. That's why this is so important. That's why this, this program is so powerful. And if literally, if you do not go in and demonstrate this product, have your texting attached. And the great thing is, is with the kiosk, you can't even build it unless the texting's attached. So thank us because we force you to have the opportunity to make a sale. You cannot go in and show this any other way. You cannot demonstrate this any other way. You cannot have a full blown action or process of showing the existence or truth of this product and give them evidence. The evidence being in the fact that as soon as they hear their phone go off and you're going to see it happen, you see it happen. Now they're going to pick up their phone and check for their text message. You cannot do it any other way. And you're going to hear me hammer that home. You can't, it's impossible. You're cheating yourself. You're cheating your clients. Your money will go away and you will not have a business. If you do not show and tell this product, demonstrate it, show them how exactly it works and make them pick up their phone. I missed a slide here somewhere. I posted in the Facebook group just the other day, somebody, somebody uh, uh, exactly what you need to say. And, and the only thing you have to do is you need to walk into that store, just like saying, hey, uh, how's business? Introduce yourself and ask, do you have a customer engagement system? And as we all know, in good sales, the first person that talk loses. Now, believe it or not, some people may think that their customer engagement system could be the fact that they accept credit cards and they slide their credit card. So if they say yes, you want to ask them what kind of customer engagement system do they have? Let them explain to you what kind of customer engagement system they have. If they say no, if you could give me five minutes, would you like to see a way that you can bring your customers back time after time with just a click of a button using a simple reward system? That's it. There's nothing else really to say. They're going to say again, yes or no. Now, if they say no, simply ask, how do you bring your customers into the store now? And you're going to need to educate them just a little bit. And this is from a training that I did a couple of weeks ago. 60% of customers do not come back after their first visit. 60%. And we know that if a customer is invited back 80% of the time on the, they come back on this, will come back on a second visit. So you're literally bringing back about 50% of the people that would never come back in that person's store again. That's extremely important that your client understands. Jack, I just want to let you know, you're losing customers. Now that may be your trend that you may not want that much business and always don't be negative, but lead with open end questions to where they have to think. Jack, can I ask you a question? Is it that you don't have the uh, product inventory to bring customers back or do you bring them back another way? I mean, it, it's a, it's a pretty fair question based on the fact that you just told them that 60% of the people do not come back after their first visit. Extremely important. Very, very, very important. And now you've got their brain thinking. Well, you know what? Maybe I do need a customer engagement system. 
And now you have the opportunity to do what? You have the opportunity to let them know that bringing back customers increases their bottom line. Every time a customer walks in that door, it increases sales. Every time that they touch that button and send out a message, remember we put up the 9111 system last week where they can literally go in if it's slow and they're sitting there thinking, you know what? I got a whole stack of t-shirts over here that I would really like to clear the inventory out because all it's doing is collecting dust and costing me money. And I can go in and sell all of these for 50% off. I've got a database of 400 people. I've got 30 t-shirts on the rack. Let me get rid of them today and show them how they can go in there and type that message in, hit a button and start getting rid of t-shirts that they couldn't sell any other way and clear that inventory and increase their revenue that day because guess they're not just going to come in and buy a t-shirt. They're going to come in and buy something else. How many of you went and got a 50 cent corny dog today at Sonic? Anybody here go get a 50 cent corny dog today at Sonic? I actually bought four of them, but and I got two of them for dinner tonight. I had four. I had two earlier and I'm going to get, I got two more for dinner tonight. You know, I can tell you, I, I didn't spend $2. I spent about $6. Cause I had to get a drink and I had to get some fries. And, and so it all started from their loyalty rewards program, sending me a text message. And I can tell you it increased their bottom line today. Their bottom line gets increased every single Wednesday. And you've got to explain to them what the program is made of. And we talked about this last week, I think, or week before. And I'm just reiterating this because I've had so many questions on this this week. I want you to understand, you need to walk in there with your kiosk in your hand. It needs to be visible. Have it on the stand. Physically pick it up on the stand and walk in there with it and have your phone in your pocket or in the other hand. When you walk in with that kiosk, I can promise you, without question, they are going to know what you're fixing to show them. Are the people that are selling kiosks right now, are, are you walking in with that kiosk and the stand all put together? Are you walking in there and as soon as you do, people are, people are looking at you like, huh, I wonder what he's selling. <laughs> you know, I wonder what he's got. I wonder what that is. They can't put two and two together. They, they see the stand wrapped around this tablet. And now that you've got their curiosity up. And I'm going to tell you, when you walk in with something different, it makes people want to know what it is. It's going to make that store owner want to know what it is. Because you're going to start drawing attention. You know, there's nothing any better than drawing attention to yourself when you have something that you want to show somebody. What does a comedian do when he wants to draw attention to himself? He starts telling jokes about himself. What does he do when he, he really wants to draw attention to himself? He starts talking loud about somebody in the back of the bar. And now everybody is tuned in and keyed in to this comedian. Walk into an airport. I was at an airport on Monday. First time I've been to one in a while because I don't fly that often. I pulled up to the uh, front of the airport. I thought, shoot, man, this, this looks like a good place to park. And I sat there and parked. I wasn't paying attention that everybody else around me was leaving. I was just sitting there. I got out and opened up my trunk, waiting on my guest to, put, uh, to come out. Of, and as soon as I opened the trunk, guess what happened? I drew some serious attention and there was three officers coming over to ask me what I was doing. I explained to them I was waiting and they polite. They were extremely polite, very polite. They said, sir, said, uh, you can only stop long enough to pick up your passengers once they are outside this door. You see, I drew major attention and all eyes were on me because I'm sitting in front of the airport, opened up my trunk and nobody was there to greet me. So I had to make about five loops and I finally pulled in and I picked up my guests and I came back home. 
But that's what this kiosk is going to do. It's going to put attention on you. It's going to drive attention to what's in your hand. And you're not even going to have to say much. Hey, do you have a customer engagement system? You've got one in your hand. Whatever that big thing is with that tablet on, it's got to be a customer engagement system. Do you agree? Do you agree that 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 having that in your hand, they're going to look at that, they're going to say, yep, that's probably a customer engagement system, and he's probably fixing to sell it to me, and he's probably fixing to show me how it works. You've already opened the door. You've already broke the ice, and everything is ready to go. Don't walk in without that. Just like I tell people, don't walk in with a PowerPoint presentation and, and, a, and a bunch of sales material. You walk in with your phone. You walk in with your phone because that's what you're fixing to demonstrate. A PowerPoint presentation doesn't demonstrate a thing. It's, unless you're doing a webinar for a bunch of people, it does you no good. A piece of paper with a bunch of numbers on it doesn't do you any good. Believe it or not, that person listening to you probably doesn't really care anyway. You know, he wants to know what that device in your hand is going to do for him and how it's going to make him money. Period. And you're going to show him that. And you're going to explain to him, hey, this is our mobile business card. Our mobile business card is branded just like your kiosk system is. Your kiosk is going to be placed at your point of sale on this nice little stand. And what are you going to do? You're going to walk over to his uh, point of sale system and you're going to sit your kiosk down there. Now, <clears throat> listen to what I'm fixing to say. Very important you hear what I'm fixing to say. You're not going to show him Jack's kiosk and Jim's kiosk and Mike's kiosk and everybody else's kiosk. Yeah, that's I've got that in there. Thank you, Kenny. And everybody else's kiosk. You're not going to show them that. They could give a crap. They don't care about Jim's kiosk. They want to know what your their kiosk is going to be able to do. But whose kiosk is good? Whose kiosk are you going to show them? What's the most important thing you're fixing to do at this time when you walk over and you set that kiosk down on their counter and you're starting to explain to him, hey, this is and you pull out your phone and you show him, hey, this is mobile business card. We're going to bundle all this together. And this is your kiosk system. And he's thinking, oh, my gosh, this is going to cost me a fortune. They're bringing all this fancy equipment in, a big mobile app on their phone. Everything is branded. Everything looks good together. And, and you've got it sitting there, okay, on their counter. And whose kiosk are they looking at? They're looking at yours. With your nice, bold logo up there in the left-hand corner that's already connected to your marketing platform and you're going to have the birthday club set on there so you can wish them a happy birthday and you can show them exactly how that works. And you're going to say, Jack, let me show you real quick exactly how this works. Now you're about two minutes into the conversation right there. Did everybody lose audio? I've got audio here. If you lost audio, just refresh or whatever you do on that end. I've got audio here. Here, I'll show it going out. So if everybody lost audio, let me know. But anyway, you're going to walk over there. They're expecting, okay, Jack, Jack Deaton lost audio. Everybody else hears me. So you're going to walk over there and you're going to ask for his phone number. Hey, Jack, can I have your phone number? I'm going to show you real quick how, how easy this is to operate. And you're going to put his phone number in. And the next thing that's going to happen is what? Ding! His phone's going to go off. Within seconds, you've just showed him the power of that kiosk system. Why? Because it's completely hooked up. It's completely ready to go. And you're going to say, hey, what's your birthday? What's your, what's your month and date of birth? And you're going to put that in there. And, and you put that information in there, and he's going to get the message. Okay? And when he gets the message, that little bulb is going to go off over his head. You say, Jack, what I want to do is, is I want to show you and teach your people here how to use this system so that you can bring people back over and over and over again with a punch, click of a button. And now you're going to close the deal and you're going to show him exactly 
what he's got to do. And you're going to write the contract. You're going to collect the money and you're going to walk out. Now, let me say somebody got, somebody got their drawers in a wad the other day because they, they, I guess they think I make this sound too simple. I'm not saying you're going to close every single person out there. I've never closed a hundred percent in a day, never in my entire life. Some of you may, some of you may walk into every single customer out there and close that deal. I don't, I'm somewhere between 50 and 60%. With business cards, business cards got a little better because had so many of them on the streets and sales really went up. Referrals really kicked in. So with referrals, we were closing 80 to 90%, you know? So, but I'm not the greatest salesman in the world, but I can't tell you this. You're not going to sell anything if you don't go out and make the sale. You're not going to sign the deal or collect the check unless you make this, uh, to, uh, uh, to make the sale. Yeah, or go to YouTube. You know, yeah, go to YouTube and it won't drop off at all. So you want to make sure, you want to make sure that uh, you close the deal and you've got to ask for the sale. I saw Kenny Dutton. He was at the uh, Staples or somewhere yesterday or day before. I can't remember now. And he got some triplicate copies. And many of you have heard, heard me tell the story about my son who was a roofing salesman. My son actually taught me that close. And uh, he got uh, triplicate copies of his roofing contracts and his clothes was handing the client the pen and saying, Hey, just press hard three copies. He was making a fortune selling roofing contracts. And I was telling Kenny the other day, I asked him one day what his clothes was when he was out selling roofs because he was making a lot of money and his mom was putting his money, putting the money in the bank for him. He didn't even know what a close was. He didn't even realize he was making a sale. All he knew was, is he figured out how to get them to sign the contract. So you have to ask for the close. You can sell all day long, but unless you ask for the close, you're never going to sell. If you've got a scenario you would like me to run through, please throw it up there because we're getting ready to move on. And it's literally, I, I know it sounds crazy, but that's all you've got to do. And spend two hours with a customer trying to close this kiosk deal. If they don't get it, when you explain it to them, if they don't get it when you go through this part right here, okay? Or if they don't get it when you're up here, okay? And they say, no, I don't have five minutes. Don't try to jam five minutes down their throat. When, you're, when you ask them if they have five minutes for you to show them how they can bring those customers back time after time, and they say, no, I, I, I'm so busy. I, don't, I, I, I just don't have time. What should be the next question out of your mouth? i tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to set up a time when we can sit down and give me five minutes so I can show you how I can help you bring customers back into your business over and over and over with just a click of a button using a simple reward system. Now, if he says no, then shake his hand, walk out the door because you're not going to do anything else. You're not there to waste his time, which is extremely valuable, but more importantly, you're not there to waste your time, which is extremely valuable. And if your close rate is 50% and you want to close five people that day, go out and talk to 10 people. If your close rate is 25% and you want to cl close five people, go out and talk to more people. You know, that's right. Next. Next. So what? Next. Some will, some won't. So what? Next. That's just the way sales is. Now, that doesn't mean you don't stop back by later on when you've sold 15 people on his street. And I see this happen every day. When you've sold 15 people on his street and he's the only one that doesn't have a rewards kiosk system and everybody else, he's watching business walk in and out of there and he's watching repeat customers come in and out of there. Guess what he's going to want now? He's going to want to be your customer. It's never a no. It's always maybe some other time. And trust me, a no is usually just a brush off. They're having a bad day, you know. Yeah, that's right. They say no, ask them who their biggest competitor is. Yeah, if they get it, they get it. If they don't, move on. How many of you believe 
and time is money. And, and I want you to be honest. That's what the BH means. Be honest with yourself. How many of you believe that time is money and it's extremely valuable to you? I'm not talking about your clients. I'm not talking about your, your family. I'm not talking about anyone else but you right now. That time is of the essence and every minute you waste, you're losing money. Every minute. Unless you're stopping for yourself, don't waste time. Time is valuable. There's only 24 hours. I was talking to my mother today and I haven't, I didn't realize it, but I haven't talked to her in two weeks. And, and I said, Bob, I said, I'm really sorry. I said, Ben, I wake up in the mornings, I, I hit the ground running. And next thing I know, I'm going to bed at night. And I said, <laughs> I, I just, and she knows I'm a workaholic. I mean, she's been my mother for, for 56 years. So and she said, don't worry, honey. She said, I know you get busy. She said, anytime. She said, just text me or call me. You know, I love you. Time is very valuable and you can never get it back. And so I want you to look at these two images right here. And I'm going somewhere with this. And I want you to understand why I'm going there. Because sometimes I think we need something to help us when it actually in turn hurts us. These are two, this is my kiosk, one of the kiosks. And, and one of these has an image on it of a kiosk, the front of a kiosk. The other one is the live kiosk. Which one do you think is real and which one do you think is a screenshot? And, 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 and while I'm talking about that, there's a, there's a big reason for this because I'm going to show you something in a minute that's going to save you a ton of time and a lot of money and get you off the couch because sometimes you feel like if you don't have something, you can't make, make things happen. So look at those two images for just a moment. By, both basically the same image, okay? Uh, both were sitting in the same spot. I just switched one and I, and I fixed the other, okay? Well, no, both are an image. One of them's just got a screenshot and one of them's got a, one of them's actually got the uh, thing on it. The screenshot is the top left, okay? The bottom one, is the real is the real one okay the bottom one is the real one now i did that for a reason we we've had a lot of requests hey boy if i could just have if i just had uh if i just had uh, four or five demos i could show or four or five uh, shots i could show it, it would help me i'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment by using screenshots not only that when you're sitting there, you do not want to waste your time. Remember, time is money. You don't want to waste your time sitting there pulling up 15 kiosks showing a guy how great your work is. They all do the same thing. You don't need to demo everybody's kiosk. The only kiosk you need to demonstrate, okay, is your kiosk because that is where you want to walk in and collect their data so that you can continue to market to them and increase your revenue, you know? And, and you're asking yourself, well, what does this have to do with time or money? Because if you have to go out and build a bunch of demos, you are wasting a ton of time. And let me use...
Yeah, tell him, hang on. I, I don't know what happened. It just this whole thing just dropped out. Okay, tell everybody to refresh. Okay. Let <laughs> let me go back to my screen. Okay. Okay, I, I see everybody's there. Yeah, yeah, I see we got about 50 people, so uh Okay. Everybody's good? Okay, buddy. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't know what happened there. It just uh, everything went offline for a moment, uh, but we, I know we're back. We're right back where we were. But what I was saying is, is demonstration is the key to success. Uh, very much the key to success with the kiosk platform. Don't try to do anything else. Don't try to deviate from the plan. Don't try to do workarounds. The only thing you need to walk in there with to to demonstrate is your kiosk and the reason for that is is it allows you to get the information that goes into your marketing platform okay now if you want to go in there and do some screenshots I'm going to show you how to do that so give me one second here I have got to I had to refresh my computer going through that. So everybody give me one second here. I've got to, I've got to set up another screen. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Does everybody get what I'm saying? Does everybody see where I'm coming from and where I'm going? Extremely important. Please speak honestly and uh, ask questions. This is very important. Extremely important that you get this. Give me one second here. I'm not going anywhere. I am in the platform now. That we, and I'm still here. Log in. Take that out. Move this over. Okay, let me change the screen here. Know that I would never lead you astray. I want you to be successful and I want you making money. Okay. Now, let me show you something real quick. If you want to do those screenshots and you want to make up one, let's say for a pizza place and you want to make, it only takes seconds to do this. But I'm going to show you why you don't want to, don't want to something that you're going to walk in with. And I'm totally selling against what people are requesting. And I'm doing this for a reason, to save you a lot of time. When you go in and create a new web app, the first thing you've got to think about is this. This web app is branded and going with this system. Okay. All right. Very important. I fix it to show you how to do that. I fix it to show you how to do that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're wasting time going in there, tapping on buttons, showing them something that doesn't matter and doesn't that, that has no inference on what you're selling. Zero, none, whatever. So this is what's going to happen. Oh, let me set up a demo real quick. Well, the demo is part of what? The demo is part of the app. So you're going to come in here and you're going to create a blank app because you're not going to have all the information. And if you've got information off their website, and it's, you've got to come back and you've got to do what? You've got to come back in here and you've got to rebuild and you've got to change and you've got to make up. So you're going to come in here and you're going to make uh, Bob's Pizza. Okay. And we're going to make a demo real quick. We're going to say Bob's Pizza and here we are wasting time. A lot of time. You're not making any money. Now you don't have their logo. And I can tell you, this is from experience. The majority of logos that are on websites that I deal with over, and I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and most of them don't have a website. 
or their website is old, they want to use the logo that's on their business card. So if I go in there and upload their logo and their image, and that's not what they're using, shame on me, but I've wasted time. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say Bob's Pizza. And because I don't have all their correct information, I'm going to hit save. And I've created an app that's absolutely useless. And I'm going to have to come back after I go out there and I'm either going to delete it or I'm, or, or, or I'm going to have to go in and rebuild it. Okay. Now, let me show you something. Get away from that. You're way, yes, thank you, BK. You are wasting your time. You're overthinking and you're putting steps in that has no business being there. Now, let me show you something. I can go into this kiosk demo. Bam. And I can go in here and I can build me a, a, a 10 screenshots, 15 screenshots, whatever I want to do. And I can have those up on my uh, tablet. Let me go in here and get some logos real quick. Open these up on my tablet. Take the screenshots. Go in and build another one. Obviously, it's a little slower here, so I'd be wasting a lot of time because of bandwidth. All right, let me go in here and pick some colors here. Background color, I'm going to make it blue. Next color, let's make it white. And button color, we'll make them red. Button text will make it white. You ask for their birthday. You don't need to change all that stuff. That doesn't really matter. And I've got my kiosk right there. I save that. All I have to do is go in there and bring that up on my lap on my kiosk. Shoot a screenshot. Build two or three more. I don't know how long that took, and I'm and I'm burning bandwidth here. Let's build another real quick. I mean, it's just this simple. This is going to be blue and white. I think we're more proud of what we do than what... Uh, A customer's concerned what you're going to do for them. They don't really care what you've done for somebody else. And I've built another kiosk. Bam, bam, bam. Obviously, I need to change this, this, this text right here to black. Or some color. And you can literally sit there and build out a dozen of these while you're doing nothing else but watching I Love Lucy and throw these together, make your screenshots, put them on your tablet, and now you can go in there while you're demonstrating and say, hey, let me show you uh, the other ones I did. But here's one thing I it, this drives me crazy. I am an artist, thank you. This drives me crazy, okay, absolutely crazy, is showing somebody something that's nothing but crap because it's not real that drives me up the wall and the other thing that drives me crazy is somebody saying hey could somebody send me this app I'm gonna show I want to show them what a real estate app looks like and you don't do anything like that person and when you design something you walk back in there and they say that doesn't look like the other app 
you're literally crushing yourself using other people's work or showing them stuff that's not real. That and and, and it, it's just it's just a waste of time. Yeah, you may be able to get their logo. If you do, simply do this, put it in yours, create it, dot and save it. Now, what would happen is if I if if I if I sold this, if I did this and this was fake, okay, then I'd have to come back and I'd have to completely go over here. I don't know if I saved that or not. And I'd have to completely build out the mobile app. Why not do it all at one time in less than 10 minutes and you've got the entire product? Don't waste your time. Do not waste your time. Okay? Do not waste your time. And that's all I'm saying. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. And it's if you don't have anything to do but waste time, then it's not important. But I don't think anybody in here wants to waste time. Does this make sense to everybody? What I just did? I can literally go in here and build these out. I can build 10 of these in, in less than an hour, shoot the screenshots, put them on my phone, and then all I got to do is open up my... Uh, Kitty, you don't get it, dude. You don't get it. You don't you don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. Wasting your time building it to begin with. But I'm not gonna argue about it. I'm just here to show you how to do this. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just telling you. Uh that you're wasting your time. You're you're wasting it. Period. <laughs> you know. And, and I don't want you wasting your time. Okay? I mean, why would you want to go out and build a bunch of demos that don't work when you could go in there and sell them and build it and, and it's ready to go and have to go back and fix a mobile app? It's a waste of time. What if this, what if this logo information is all wrong? And a lot of time it is. You don't know what information they want right here, so you've got to come back and you've got to redo all this. Okay? So, any questions on that at all? And what the what the thought process is on it? That's the important thing. What's the thought process? First off, don't waste time. <laughs> I know you've got a lot of time. Trust me. You've got a lot of time. All right? Any questions on that at all? I'm going to show you real quick. This is very important. And I tell you what else that does. It makes you lazy to where you don't go in and demonstrate and do what you're supposed to do. And you're wasting time for your customer. ROI calculator is a very, very important uh, calculator. Now let me go through this real quick. Uh, we had a question today. What is the cost of average transaction? Uh, a, a transaction is uh, the cost of the ticket, whatever the ticket item is. So if if a waitress comes over and brings you your ticket and sets it on the table, and if it's fifty bucks or whatever, and when you're talking to your talking to the owner of the store, it's whatever the cost is. Okay, so what is your average cost ticket cost? Uh, 35 bucks, or you can make it whatever you want. Okay, on an iPhone, this scrolls at the bottom, but you can literally show them this. Okay, let's say the average cost of a ticket is 19 bucks. Okay, and this is something that Ken, Kenny actually had done. Okay, uh, you can actually zero this out. And let's say that they get 10 signups a day and two promotions a month. Percent off or redeem, 4%, $19 cost per day. We zeroed that out, and this was a good thought process. Uh, let's say they're paying $79 a month for their system. Hit calculate. Month one, their increase in sales volume is $463.60. Minus the seventy nine bucks, or let's say it's let's say you're you're charging them sixty three dollars and sixty cents. Okay, so that's four hundred bucks. 
They had a $400 increase. So month one, they paid for their system. Their annual increase with just this simple of a system, okay? Now, remember, we're going to do what? Four promotions a month. Four promotions a month doubles their, their return, doubles their return. So they're making about 970 bucks right here on their first month increase in sales volume. Okay. So make sure, can somebody type that in the box down there? When I open this back up, my box is not, uh, the box is not center. All right. It's one tap dot Moby forward slash ROI. One tap dot Moby forward slash ROI. One tap dot Moby forward slash ROI. My, my box to type in went away. Box to type in went away. If they got two locations, remember we was talking last week how to set up uh, the locations. They got two locations, increase of $1,854. This right here, if you're having a problem closing them, pull this out. Close them every time. Close them every time. Every time. Any questions at all? about anything I talked about, sales, doing screenshots, showing off your work. Go out and sell five of them. You'll never have to do another screenshot. Any questions at all? Well, that was weird. Hey, and I kept it at an hour. What, what do you think about that? I'll give everybody just a minute to ask questions. I would have well, uh, glad to see BK back. And uh, it's he, he was in the hospital this time last week. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's always, I love BK to death. I've never met BK. And I know you guys hear me talk about him all the time. Never met him. But our day's coming and we're going to take a cross-country trip in a Bugatti. Me and my man, BK, from Maine to L.A., <laughs> woke up in my Bugatti. Use it our prayers there, BK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Dutton, want to thank him for every week doing the, uh, doing the uh, timelines there, putting them on the videos. Yes, Kitty did introduce me to the Bugatti. And then I heard the song and I started singing. All right, everybody have a great evening. It is absolutely, as always, a pleasure to come in and trade. I hope everybody got something out of this tonight. Go out now. Now you can go out and sell 10 of these tomorrow and make it happen. Good night, Rick. Thank you, buddy. Absolutely, Gary. Thank you. Gary's gone through uh, a lot of surgeries and stuff. Been praying for Gary. Absolutely, Dennis. Good night, Jack.